So your OBS studio is acting weird, maybe it's lagging, crashing randomly, or your settings just got completely messed up after trying different configurations. The good news? Resetting OBS to factory defaults is actually pretty straightforward, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. First, you need to open up your OBS studio. Once you've got OBS running, look at the top menu bar and go to File. In that file menu, you'll see an option called Show Settings Folder, that's what we need. A folder window will pop up showing you all the configuration files OBS uses to remember your settings, scenes, sources, basically everything. Now, what we're going to do is select all files and folders here. Once everything's highlighted, it's time to delete them. Here's where you'll probably see a little hiccup. Because OBS Studio is already open, the Logs folder is currently in use and can't be deleted. Don't worry about it, just check the box and click skip when the error message appears. As you can see, all the settings folders and files are gone from this location. Next step, go ahead and close OBS Studio. As you can see, new default configuration files have been added to this OBS settings folder automatically. Time to open OBS again. When OBS Studio launches again, other configuration files and folders are being added to its settings folder on the fly. And boom, we have now a fresh OBS Studio with this blank black canvas. It's like we just installed it for the first time. If you want to get your settings dialed in quickly, you can use the auto configuration wizard. I actually covered this in my first video when we installed OBS Studio initially. Just click on tools at the top, then click auto configuration wizard. Here, you can choose the usage of OBS Studio. There are different options depending on whether you're streaming or recording, but for me, I always use it for optimizing recording. For the canvas settings, I'm going to select my screen resolution, make sure this matches your actual monitor resolution. Once it's finished, just click apply settings and you're good to go. Next thing you have to do is add a source to your scene, otherwise you'll just be recording or streaming a black screen, which isn't very useful. Click on this plus icon down in the sources box. From the menu, select display capture. This will let you capture your entire screen. A dialog box appears, just click OK to accept the default name. Now, for the display, select your monitor from the drop-down list. If you've got multiple monitors, pick the one you want to capture. As you can see, my computer screen now appears in the preview window. Your OBS is now completely reset and ready for action. If you found this helpful, smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss future OBS guides.